Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Film Shortwave channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at the close call function of the Uniden Bearcat UBC 125 XLT scanner. Uh, since I reviewed this video about two years ago I was getting a few comments about operations of it so I thought I'd do a video series so uh, this one's going to be on the close call function also I'd like to apologise if you hear any noises at all here uh, we're in this grips of Storm Callum because the Met Office enjoy naming their storms for some reason anyway let's get to it so let's uh, switch to radio on and basically what close call does switch that down for a bit uh, basically what close call does it's a feature where if you're having the radio scanning and you're walking through a shopping precinct or you just you're wandering around town and want to know what's about close call feature will lock onto a strong signal so that's enable that first so you go press function the top left button it gets you into the mode of close call so you've got close call mode you when you're pressing the button at the top to press enter close call off off uh, DND do not disturb so if you've picked up a signal let's say you're at an airport and you can hear the tower it won't do anything until the conversation's over so it starts scanning something else then it'll pick one up so we're going to leave that off for now close call priority you got you can check turn the mode yeah. Uh, close call bands so you can have them all switched on after these are switched off so let's uh, let's switch that one on and we'll switch on UHF on you can switch these off and on individually close call alert it will beep at you which uh, I'll show you later beep on and alert light so the box display will keep flashing have that on uh, scan hits on that saves it to bank zero I'll show you that momentarily delay uh, CTCSS DCS search uh, CTCSS is what uh, is what uh, amateur radio uses so if you're using a repeater you need to send out the right tone uh, some PMR radios use it I believe if, if they work in the warehouse they may use it DCS is a, is a number same kind of principle if two radios have the same DCSS number programmed in they can communicate if it doesn't you can't uh, modulation that's switching to AM FM they're defaulted anyway select the search step depending what band you you're scanning at so 6.25 steps that's that's not very important to be honest now you see in the corner there close call is on and so as you see there so then let's turn the volume up hit scan so I hit turn search so if there's a transmission so I've got the um, 2 meter band and the 77 band range program in and it will just sit there happily scanning until, until it picks up the transmission now over here I have the uh, GT3 Mark II so I've got a uh, 2 meter calling channel programmed in and the 70 stems one and also if we go to the bottom 2 meter calling channel programmed in but one of them has got a uh, CTCSS tune in so uh, let's, let's have a mess see what we can pick up so let's set that scanning, scanning. that's uh, yeah, scorched it up too so that's fine so it's God 
damn taxis. Ah well, then, so let's, uh, let's see what it picks up. Sit, close call phone, press and your key. And that briefly locks it in. Now you hear the slight beeping. I'll see if we can trigger it again. Let's move this closer to the camera. Now that is the initial problem with the radio, it beeps quietly. I would perhaps have a, a louder beep, you know, something as loud as that. But, you know, never mind, never mind. So let's, uh, let's try a different frequency. Oh, it's found something. There you go, 433500. What about the CTCSS tune? Well, let's uh, let's ping it again. And there you go. It's it picked up the tone there. Now, it, it, it close call does seem a bit clunky. So Give away taxis. So wherever I've got a lot of interference in the house. But yes, we get the picture. I don't know. I think it seems to be picking up signals from elsewhere, so I'm not sure what's going on. So let's have a look what it has saved. So to find out where it's saved it, press search. Press zero. Let's get rid of that. And we've got close call scan hits. Now, as it has saved them, it is scanning for those hits again. And to review what it has found, press the hold button. 433500. 145500. 145500 with the uh, CTCSS uh, tone, 103.5. And there we go. And you can save up to, up to 10 of these, basically. It's like 50 of these, so um, sort it in the bank at the end. Pretty simple, uh, let's unhold that. And to get rid of the uh, CTCSS function, the hold button, then you can switch it all off. Scan hits. Scan hits off. Well, you can leave them on, it is entirely up to you. I'll usually only really have it on when I'm, when I'm out and about. I'm working nights, that's barely, that ever happens. Uh, another thing someone did ask about is turning the... Um, turning the beep sound off, function on 7. So, um, that's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give the thumbs up. Uh, I'm always open to other suggestions for videos of this nature. Obviously, there, there are plenty of other functions on uh, the Bearcat, so um, close call is a good one, and I really must use it more. But it has its drawbacks, as you see, and it it, it seems a bit clunky in the videos, in the uh, operations of it. So until next time, and. Uh, Hopefully it's going to be better weather for the pilots. I really can't imagine flying in the crosswind. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. And uh, see you in the next one. 73s and uh, good DX. See you later.